Hello there and welcome back. So let's continue with this case. So just to mention, all cases are exactly the same. Okay. So I will, from now on, from this point on, I will work with the case M4. Okay. The one I have this technique that I like. So just to show you the geometry a little bit, what we can do. So here we have, I'm going to show you how to do this one and well, I will share the link, but what we have here. Okay, look at that. When I create the geometry in this case, we have a few surfaces and we have the leading edge and then we have this leading edge. And what we're going to do is add some refinement in this leading edge. So we saw in the previous video you know, with the cylinder tutorial how to do it. So here we're going to do it with the airfoil. But also just to show you that here we have also a few variants of this case. So we have the airfoil and one of the techniques recall that you have the collapse in here when you have the trailing edge, usually, yeah, you have that problem. So one technique can be just to cut here the trailing edge and then add some refinement there. So you can do it in the same way, you know, as I did it here, you now you get that surface and then in a snappy, you have the surface and you can just simply add a refinement level. I'm not going to do it and leave it for you as an exercise. I'm just going to show you the basic, by the way, you have all these geometries there. Okay. So let's go. Let me close here. Let's do clean. Let's clear, clean everything. Okay. And let's focus on M4. Okay. So M4, just to show you constant, you have here a geometry. So you have many geometries. So this is trailing edge. This is the NACA with the trailing edge. You have you no know, this section, a straight tra training edge, then the leading edge and so on. So well, let's open part of you to see what we have. So it's up to you how, how you want to play with this geometry. So if I go here, constant, I will have this one should be the airfoil. So I have one single surface. Okay. Let me go with the other. And I think it's this one. And just to show you, this is two surfaces. So many people when it works with surface surfaces likes to have top and bottom. So here I have top and bottom. We saw in the previous video how to get that access to those regions. Okay. So you have it there. Then I have this one that I think it should be the airfoil with the trailing edge. Uh, there you go. Yes. Straight training edge. And then here you have some surfaces. So this should be the surface of the trailing edge. There you go. So you can apply that, read it and apply a refinement locally there. And then the one that I'm going to use is this one on shape, the leading edge. And then there are some other two here. I don't know what they are. Okay. So I'll see that in this case, what is happening there? Well, nothing. Okay. So there you go. So let's open the case and let's do focus block mesh, exactly the same, but here we're using the technique with the snappy X mesh. And what I want to do is this is the dictionary. Okay. So let's play here. So basically we're doing everything. Okay. And see, read the airfoil, the leading edge, and this is the box to create the refinement. So just to remind you will be this one. So it can be also an STL. So it's up to you. Then here, nothing to do. In this case, we don't need this one. We use the implicit method and look at refinement for four. And I want to enable this in the leading edge. But remember, this is not recommended to do this when you have an STL leading edge. Remember that it's another STL. It's not recommended to use this technique and just to give you a refresher what happens. Okay. So your boundary layer is going to give you problems. And then also it's going to create some extra patches that are difficult not to, to control or, or to erase or to merge. So basically what the only thing that we did enable that STL leading edge, and then we add the refinement on the surface. Okay. Of that STL. So let me go back here. Okay. It's so a step three and see here you have. STL surface. Well, look at what is happening with this surface. You have that hole here that is filled by this here. 
and this is what is happening okay and this is what i don't recommend you so see refining surface and what we're doing so just to recall airfoil and then deleting hstl and then i say okay let me patch that using this leading edge but i want to use this technique here refining surface and you get this problem the boundary layer is also is not growing here okay obvious reason you have that new patch and that new patch i didn't add it here okay so you will need to uh, to add it but same problem okay it's going to collapse and let me enable that there so let me go here so see that we have 99 percent of coverage and let's do here a restart and i want to do a snap p x mesh i want to read on a specific input file and it is bl okay boundary layer so this is the one that i need to modify now now so here let me go boundary layers okay it's still so fake so here actually as i am going to do a restart and use in another file let me put it here okay and let me put five also so sorry there let me put the default values also was so i was playing around with that final layer six okay so give a minute that may be bum, 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 bum. okay and let me erase here and ah i erase the other command was snap px dictionary system and then snap pbl and there you go and see that now okay much better previously you didn't have that coverage but still okay if we go here Firewood so meshes. There we say, you see that? Okay, manage to grow your boundary layer, no problem. Okay, but you have that funky patch that. There, those faces there. That that might give you some problems. Okay, but you see, in theory, it works. Then, if you try to merge this one, you remember that you have the, the create patch dictionary. You can merge. It's a little bit tricky, you know. So theory will work. I don't recommend you, okay, to to proceed like this. The way to do it is instead of adding that patch here in surface refinement, let's add that patch in region refinement. And here, where do I have? Here you have leading edge and that's all so here i'm using this technique that a distance of 0 0.1 meters from the surface apply a refinement of six okay so here you have different files commented so it's up to you if you want to enable disable those options so you have there so let's add this one and in this case it's not going to create a new patch it's just going to starting from that stl that we're reading it's going to do the region refinement and also will apply it to to the surface so let's run everything run mesh all so later in another case i will complicate a little bit more this technique now that i call a surface on top of a surface now but then we can create patches it might be the case that this patch that we use region but also i want to create an additional surface there okay i want to separate it because i want to apply another boundary condition or whatever so i will show you how to do it okay the proper way how to do that or the way i like okay so there might be different ways to do things i will show you the way i prefer how to do that small modification here as you can see it's a little bit much slower where well, a little bit no it's much slower clearly you see that it's applying the refinement there and here you start to see that already a refinement of six it is something excessive okay even in this case remember it's doing everything in 3d but it's already starting to be excessive
Okay, okay. We're back after a short wait. So you see that these six how how slow are since imagine if you put an eight there. By the way, where it's still 3D, then you want to go to 2D, do the extrude mesh, but I'm not going to do it. So basically what we did was this. So it's not a such big modification, but this is it. The STL. Then even part of you, this is low. So you see all the 3D cells and the boundary layer was very good. Actually, no, I was quite surprised now. So almost 100% coverage. So this is what you have. Okay. So this is the way the technique how to do it. Okay. So the older advanced video that I'm going to show you is that, okay, now you use that STL, but I want to have a patch here with the name leaded edge and the rest will be the airfoil. How I can do that without separating or using the, the STL. So that's a little bit more advanced. It's not like, it's not compulsory. It's not that, that you need to use that technique, but I'm going to show you. So this is it. Okay. So all, remember all cases are the same. So you can go and modify work in every in one, two, three, and use these techniques and get a feeling how to work. Now with these techniques, go back also to tutorial one and, and use the same techniques. So now the next videos, we're going to focus now in the boundary layer. So now I guess you have an idea how to get better control. By the way, also you can read the, the STL with the regions and then remember that, that you need to, to put the regions here in surfaces and so on. So it's up to you to play around. So. Let's move to the next video related to boundary layer. Bye.